All right, my friends, these flathead catfish are some extremely wily critters. I caught that big one about a month ago, and ever since then, I have been putting in a ton of time to try and catch them. Man, that thing got under my skin. Flathead catfish are so stinking addicting, but I don't know about y'all, but it's taken me a lot of time and effort to try and catch another one. I've spent the last two weeks, I've probably spent two to three days of each week targeting them during the day and during the night and have just struggled. I've hooked one really big one that I lost. Then I caught about a two pounder and that is about it. But I am trying so hard to catch another one. I cannot wait to catch another one. Those things are so stinking cool. And I have a ton of respect for people that go out and catch them consistently because I have learned that that is extremely difficult. If y'all have any tips for me as far as how to fish ponds for them or where to fish creeks for them or what bait is best live or dead let me know i'll take all the help i can get but i'm gonna figure it out one way or another so since i've been trying so stinking hard for like two to three weeks to try and catch another one and have not made it happen yet i was looking back at some old huge flathead catfish footage over the past couple years i've got four or five videos of giant flatheads and i'm going to share those with you now uh, start out with a 25 30 pound fish and then just keep on getting way 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 bigger Thank you all for watching. You know I appreciate it. Trust me when I say I'm putting in the hours out here trying to find another giant. Thank you guys for watching and sticking with me. Got the repairing get this, get this. Get him. He's there. Smoke him. <laughs> Smoke. Uh -oh. Come on! Be a catfish. Fast, whatever it is. That's a gar, it's way fast. Oh, that's the gut. This might be a catfish, bro. Yeah, I'm confused. Why? Yeah, lower that down. I really hope it's not going to go. It's a, it's, it's a flathead. It's a flathead. It's a flathead. Bro, it's huge. <gasps> my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to get outside of you and go grab it. Oh, look at it, bro. Look at it. We put out a heart sucker and we end up getting a massive flathead catfish. Yeah, we were here fishing for carp. And I got myself a buffalo. Come on, dude! Oh. I got it. He ain't going nowhere. It's just it's got to be right in the corner. Look at how. Oh. This, buddy! <laughs> Okay, let me get this guy off real quick or try. Okay, that one's gone. 15, just to be conservative. What did you just catch, Ty? <sighs> what is going on here? Do you need me to take the camera? No, I just want to admire it for a bit. Guys, look at how big, look at how big his on mouth is. On a piece of cut carp. On a piece of cut carp. I am so stoked about that, man. Oh, it's big, buddy. Guys, check this. I'm so stoked with this flathead. Just an absolute hammer of a fish. Smoked oh him on the eight aught circle. We'll try and do the uh, correct flathead hole like that. Show you guys that fish. You know, it's not a, uh, it's not super super thick, but it's a winter fish. I'm assuming it'd get a lot heavier. Huge in the head. Not spinning, but... Yeah, how do you show off that head properly in a I photo, know. you know? 
All right, guys, we got this giant. One of the coolest flathead I've ever caught. Haven't caught too many in my life. One like that makes my day. Clear water. Oh, she's gone. Wow, buddy, wow. There's gotta be fish there. I got him. I'm on. I am on. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude. Big fish. Big fish. Dude. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude. He just annihilated. Yeah, just, just like walking down the wall. Dude, chill. Oh no. Oh. Dude. Oh my god. Here you go. I'll oh, grab him. You think you can grab him? Yeah. I'm trying. Dude, that's my biggest flathead of my life. <gasps> that's massive. That's massive. Dude. Woo! Holy crap. Bro. He's heavy. Bro. Holy crap, buddy. Oh boy. Gosh, look at the size of that thing. He's fat. Yeah, he's thicker than a snicker. Look at this flathead, biggest of my life by a long shot. Just walking down here. Just walking along this trail. Boom. He just destroyed my bluegill, guys. Just annihilated. How do I get like that? There you go. There you go. Yes! I am so stoked. <laughs> Get that piece of dirt off me. <laughs> Welcome to the abyss. <laughs> it's a good fish. I'm gonna hop down here. Biggest flathead of my life. Get that mouth. He knows it's time. He's gone. Boy. Dude, I was just like vertical jigging the bluegill. Bong, bong. <laughs> Ooh, look at him, look at him. Look at him, look at him, he's right there. Okay. Got him, Josh, got him. Got? I don't know, but it hit it. it, hit it? Yeah. Head shakes. Got slammed. No, it hit it, bro. Yeah, boom. Right there. Right in the spot where it makes sense for it to be, you know? Might be the same one I got. Oh, those head shakes, man. How does it feel? I ain't caught enough of these to tell you, but it ain't small. I think it's over 20, you know? I just want to get him out of them rocks. That looks big, man. Remember, it's a crappie rod. Yeah, the, the rod probably isn't the right rod. Yeah, I know, but that makes it a little more fun. Oh, golly, John. I would just back off, maybe click. Come on. He's got to be right there. John! Oh, my God! John! Holy sh**, Tyler. It, like, choked it, too. It, it's in there. 
That might be the same fish I caught. Really? Or it looks bigger. like a similar color. Yeah, or it's bigger. That's big. We never even saw how thick he was, you know? He's probably this thick this time of year. Dude, he's giant. Dude, on a so crankbait, Josh. <laughs> Golly. On my little crappie setup. No, stop! Oh, God. Real big. Oh my gosh! Power. Powerhouse. Dude, he's 40 something inches. Oh no. That's alright. Mine did that a couple times too. It seems like there should be a lot of snag to get stuck in, but they're. Pretty it's pretty deep. deep right off the bat, eh? Yeah, it, it drops off pretty quick. Man, it's not often you can go back to the spot and do the same thing. Oh! Josh, so big. dude. Oh, Josh. Yeah. Holy buckets, right. buddy. Holy He's buckets. Too. You're gonna grab him. If you give me the pole, I can direct him to you. You, you got more experience with grabbing him. Well, you're gonna have to get him up over here. Come to the left of me. You grab his bottom jaw, squeeze hard. With uh, like. Yeah, hard. Okay. Uh, kind of try to keep them in the water for a second. I don't know if it's the same fish. Look at the crank's gone, buddy. Do you see it? Oh yeah, I can see it. You can? Oh yeah. Holy cats, look at his mouth. Look at the size of this flathead, guys. My biggest ever. Got it. Good job. Okay. There she is, new PB flathead thanks to Josh. Can you say that one more time? Oh, new PB flathead thanks to Josh. <laughs> Kimberly, what's to Josh? You're used to gator gar and stuff. What's going on, Tyler? What a fish, man. Crazy, huh? Thank you, Josh. Give me a hug, man. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh yeah, I got him, Josh. Big one, big one, big one. Yes. Slammed it, dude. Way harder than the first. Way harder than the first. I'm using that uh, movement L7 really? from Six Sense. The movement. I knew that cast would happen too. Did you hear me? Did you hear me shrieking? So come on, come on, come on, boom! Leaving again. Just gone, dude. Come on, baby. Cast King Wide Eye Power Jig Rod, made for walleye and crappie, but I love catching giants like this on it. Cast King Speed Demon Elite Spinning Reel, 30 pound braid, 6 cents, movement L7 square bow crankbait. Gee! You feel like you got the bottom of the river? Yeah, but it's moving. Meat wagon! Meat wagon. <laughs> that last one was for sure a meat wagon. <laughs> L7 only dives like two feet, doesn't no, it? No, it goes down to four or five. Oh, does it? Yeah. It's super erratic, too. That's one of the head shake. Goodness, buddy, come on. We're gonna let you go, dude, I promise. We ain't gonna eat you. Right there, right there, right there. Oh my gosh, dude, it's another giant. <laughs> oh. Another giant one. See how far away his tail was from my line? Yeah. Over 40 inches for sure. Here he comes. Oh! Dude, it might be bigger. Dude. It's so pretty, too. It is. It's got. 
A lot of light colors. Yeah, awesome colors. Might even be bigger. I think it's long. Yeah. Oh! So long. We at least got a measure this one. What's the master angler? <laughs> 20 pounds lighter than the past two you caught. Really? Yeah. Dude, that's like a... That's a... Here he is, Josh. Yeah. Freshwater shark, Tyler. Come on. Dude, it's so big. Hold tight. I got him. It's like the same size. Ugh. Ugh. Ouch! Is it bigger or is it the same size? It's the same fish? No. Same exact spot, Josh. Are you kidding me? Literally. Literally the same spot. Look at how big much he engulfed it. Yeah. Not often you catch one of these in a day, Tyler, but two of them on the same bait and the same hooked in the same spot is pretty incredible. I think you got him. Got him. What a bow. All right, y'all remember the first video with Josh where he put me on a giant flathead using crankbaits. This is number two, and it's just a giant, man. I'm clearly not a big dude. I'm not doing too well with lifting him. Look at this guy. He is just massive. Goodness gracious. Doubled up with the crankbait. There. That That's gotta be a cool picture. Compare, but look at his tail. Yeah, it's the size of your head. That's insanity. All right, probably about time for her to go back. Yep, send her home. Is huge. All right, we got Tyler's pictures and fly home number two going back. Look at how big his head is. I might. That is just remarkable. And we're gonna send her off. This broomstick of a tail. Oh, man. Josh. Oh my gosh, buddy. <laughs> <sighs>